Okay, so let's talk about this awesome braiding cap that was sent to me by Shake and Go. For those of you who may not want to do uh, crochet braiding styles with your own hair or just unable to, this braid cap is perfect for the new trend in hairstyling and wigs. It's built just like any other wig cap but with braids sewn down to the cap to mimic a braid pattern. And you can use crochet, any, crochet of any kind of loose bulk hair or whatever. And it's breathable and it has good stretch with adjustable uh, elastic straps in the back. Now in this video, I ended up doing two wigs using this cap and I used this hair for both. And here is the first technique I used to crochet the hair to the wig cap. Now when you unwind the hair and cut it in half, you get about two 12 inch pieces. Then you can get four eight inch pieces when you cut those in half. So I installed them as 12 inch pieces and some in random eight inch pieces. Then I cut and gave it some shape. here are the final results and honestly guys I felt this style was a fail style I did not like it I guess I just didn't like the shape and just the way that I had installed the hair so the following day I cut the hair away from the cap and then we did the wig with the same hair and the 99J color only and this is the second technique that I did I used only 12 inch pieces and what I did was crossing over the cut ends. I left the finished ends loose and then I crocheted the hair from there. So now with this wig, I love the color and how doing the second technique made the wig look, made the hair look overall. So the fin to just to finish off the edges, I did what is called an invisible knot technique. And all you do is latch it through and you pulling one of the loose ends through the loop and then you'll pull both opposite each other just so you can secure it down and it just kind of folds right on over without showing the actual crochet knot. So after that, this point I decided to make it a deep part and I shaped it from there. Then I used a black like hairspray, like spray on hair color, just so I can apply it to the roots so it make it look like it's kind of growing from my head. And not only that, because the cap and the braids are black, it just looked better to me, even though it kind of looks chalky, but it just ended up looking way better. Uh, it does kind of rub off your hands, so be very careful. But um, I just like the way that I sprayed it into the hair and make it look a little bit more uh, ombre-ish. Here I just kind of pulled up a little bit of my hair from the braids that's underneath 
just to kind of hide like that front part of the wig cap and it was perfect. Well that's it guys, I hope you liked this video. I think I wanna try this again with a different type of hair. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get another cap like this and just do another style. I love these natural curly hairstyles. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.